morning everybody how are we all doing today it is a gorgeous gorgeous Monday not too chilly and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about a idea that I've had for a long time about gift exchanges now obviously we're a ways out of the holidays now and it's a ways until we get back into them but <clears throat> Your office may do a gift exchange every now and again, uh, particularly around the major holidays. And there's a concept here that is humorous in a numerous way, numerous ways, but something that I've always thought <clears throat> poorly executed from a practical standpoint, and that is the uh, minimum or maximum price that uh, is set to these items. So say, for example, you're doing a, a white elephant or a Yankee swap of some kind, or perhaps a uh, draw name from a hat type gift exchange, and you just want to make sure that everyone's getting at least the same range. You know, you don't want one person to get uh, some fantastic piece of electronics, um, and the person who, who gave that gift to receive a candy bar. Uh, you, you want it to be pretty, pretty even um, in that regard. So you set a, a price. You say, okay, there's a $25 limit is typically, I think, the word I hear more than anybody else. So you set this $25 limit. Well, then what happens if you go out and you, you say you're Bob, you work at the office and you pull Sally's name out of a hat and you know Sally likes uh, tea. So you get, you go out to the store and you see this perfect tea set and it's $26. Well, what are you supposed to do? I mean, most people would just say, well, that's close enough and just buy the tea set, right? So there's this kind of thing where you, you can get the if you can get something really good, the exact right gift, that you can sway from that $25 limit a little bit. But then again, there's other people who are saying, well, it's a $25 minimum. Okay, well, that that's interesting. Um, I suppose then in that situation, if you were to find the perfect gift for $20, you would then supplement it with like a $5 Starbucks gift card or something. That's all fine and well. Here's what I'm thinking. People are already using it the way that I think it ought to be used. Let's just make sure that we spell this out so there's no confusion, okay? It's a $25 target. You're aiming to spend about $25. If you wind up spending $22 or $27, no one's going to bat an eye. If you spend $15, people might think, whoa, that's, you know, it's not quite enough. You're a little off there, but, you know, not bad. And if you spend $5 or $45, then something's in my face. Some kind of cobweb or something pardon me, um, then people are going to go, well, you totally missed the mark on that one. Um, and it's always been that way for me. If I find a gift that is, and it's typically in that 20, 20 to $50 target range that people are always giving us, but if I find a gift that is a really good gift that's a bit off the mark, no big deal. Go for it. Uh, if it's lower, generosity of the spirit, that's great. I found a great gift for less money. Now I can spend that that extra, that gap, and get them something, you know, to supplement. Uh, uh, not only that they really like tea and I only spent $20 on my $25 limit, but also now I can get a $5 gift card. Or maybe I can buy an extra uh, box of loose tea or something. I just, you know, throwing stuff out there. Whatever, whatever works for you. But I think if we were just to say it's a $25 target, then people will not be quite as confused as they normally are. And is that how you deal with you know, gift exchanges. Also, what's a good way to do gift exchanges? We've done um, uh, Yankee swaps and uh, uh, white elephant type Christmases uh, fairly often, uh, both in my family and the various offices that I've worked at. One year we did a thing where you bought a gift and then you told a story, you had to push the uh, boxes to your left or your right more often than not. That was interesting and different. However, it wound up basically just being that you gave the present to the person who you were sitting, uh, two people to your right. There was a lot less randomness and a lot less um, back and forth and intrigue about it. Uh, but I would like to hear more different types of gift exchanges that people do. And in any event, uh, after you're done telling me about all of the wonderful ideas that you have about gift exchanges, I want to make sure that you have a nice day.